Starstreak is a British short-range man-portable air defence system manufactured by Thales Air Defence, in Belfast. It is also known as Starstreak HVM. After launch, the missile accelerates to more than Mach 4, making it the fastest short-range surface-to-air missile in the world. It then launches three laser beam riding submunitions, increasing the likelihood of a successful hit on the target. Starstreak has been in service with the British Army since 1997. In 2012 Thales rebranded the system under the Force Shield banner. Development Development on the missile began in the early 1980s after an evaluation of missile and gun options to increase air defense capabilities showed that a high-velocity missile system would best meet the needs and could also replace existing shoulder-launched missiles. A general staff requirement was drawn up with the requirements of the system, specifying the requirement of three launch platforms for the missile, a self-propelled launcher, a three-round lightweight launcher, a man-portable launcher. In 1984, the British Ministry of Defence awarded development contracts to British Aerospace and Shorts Missile Systems. The Bayer missile was known as Thunderbolt. Shorts won the competition and were awarded the A356 million pounds. Further development and a production contract materialized in November 1986, and the missile was officially accepted into service in September 1997. The missile was intended to replace the Javelin surface-to-air missile in British service. The LML and shoulder-launched versions have been in use since 2000. In July 2001, Thales received a contract for a successor identification friend or foe system for Starstreak. In mid-2007, Thales UK in Northern Ireland revealed that it had developed Starstreak II, a much-improved successor to the Starstreak missile. Some of the advantages included in this new missile are an improved range of 7 km, an improved targeting system and the ability to operate it at much higher altitudes, up to 16,404 feet. In 2011, when it won a contract for the lightweight multi-role missile, Thales announced it agreed with the MOD to re-roll previously contracted budgets to facilitate the full-scale development, series production and introduction of the LMM. The contract affected is speculated to have been Starstreak. Starstreak 2 is a development of Starstreak aimed at increasing range beyond 7 km and improving lethality. Description The Starstreak missile is transported in a sealed launch tube. This tube is attached to an aiming unit for firing. The operator tracks the target using the aiming unit's optically stabilized sight. The process of tracking the target allows the aiming unit to compute the right trajectory to bring the missile together with the target. The operator can indicate wind direction to the unit and, in the case of a long-range target, provide super-elevation. When the initial tracking is complete, the operator fires the missile by pressing a button. The missile then fires the first-stage rocket motor, which launches the missile from the tube a euro but burns out before leaving the tube to protect the operator. When the missile is a safe distance from the operator, the second stage fires, which rapidly accelerates the missile to burn out velocity of more than Mach 4 400 meters away from the operator. As the second stage burns out, the three dart submunitions are released. Each dart consists of a rotating forebody with two canard fins attached to a non-rotating rear assembly which has four fins. The rear assembly also houses the electronics that guide the missile. The dart housing is made from a tungsten alloy. The darts are each 396 mm long with a diameter of 22 mm and weigh about 900 grams. Around half the weight of each dart, approximately 450 g, is its explosive charge, detonated by a delayed action, impact activated fuse. The missiles are guided by two laser beams projected into a two-dimensional matrix by the aiming unit. The laser is modulated according to its position in the projected matrix. Earlier laser guidance systems used a single beam that had to be kept on the target at all times, if it moved off the target, the reflection would end and guidance would be lost until the target was regained. The problem could be reduced by making the laser's beam wider but only at the cost of lowering the accuracy and reducing the amount of energy being reflected. Starstreak's system allows the painted area to be much larger than the aircraft while retaining pinpoint accuracy. 
Each submunition contains its own seeker, which can determine the location of the target by examining the modulation of the laser. The submunitions steer by briefly decelerating the rotating full body with a clutch. The front wings then steer the missile in the appropriate direction. The three submunitions fly in a formation about 1.5 meters in radius, and have enough kinetic energy to maneuver to meet a target evading at 9G at 7,000 meters. On impact with the target, a delayed action fuse is triggered. This gives time for the projectile to penetrate the target before the explosive warhead detonates. The tungsten housing is designed to fragment and produce maximum damage inside the target. A demonstration was conducted in September 1999 that showed the missile being used against an FV-432 armored personal carrier, showing the missile's effectiveness as a surface-to-surface -surface weapon. Each submunition dash traveling at 1,250 meters per second has comparable kinetic energy to a shell from a Bofors 40 mm gun and probably has sufficient energy to penetrate the front armor of an infantry fighting vehicle. However, it lacks the armor penetration capabilities of a purpose-built anti-tank guided missile or of a dual-purpose missile. Service History In 2012 the Ministry of Defence announced that it would be placing a Star Streak detachment on top of a block of flats in London in preparation for the 2012 London Olympics. The Ministry claimed that the area was the only suitable location for an air defence detachment of the type. Some residents were upset and uncertain of the necessity of the detachment. In 2013, the British MOD ordered 200 more Star Streak missiles. Variants, ATASK, fired from a helicopter. This was developed in combination with McDonnell Douglas and Lockheed Martin Electronics between 1995 and 1998 specifically for use with the AH-64 Apache. It has yet to enter service. LML, fired from a lightweight multiple launcher that holds three missiles ready for firing and can be used as either a stationary launch unit or mounted on a light vehicle such as a Land Rover or HMMWV. The LML originated in a proposal under the Army Suggestions Scheme for the Javelin System. Sea Streak, two versions of a naval mounting have been demonstrated a Euro a one-man mount similar to the LML but carrying a total of six missiles, and a close-in weapon system mounting holding 24 missiles. SPHVM, carried on an Alvis Storm AFV with a roof-mounted eight-round launcher with internal stowage for a further 12 missiles. Star Streak Avenger, built to a U.S. Army requirement in the early 1990s, this system integrated the Star Streak missile on the Boeing Avenger vehicle, replacing one pod of Stinger missiles with one pod of four Star Streak and modifying the fire control system accordingly. Star Streak Mark II, upgrade to the Star Streak. Thor Multi Mission System, a four missile turret mounted on a Pinskill across country chassis, unveiled by Thales UK in 2005. Rapid Ranger Weapon Launcher on Euro Vamtac Vehicle. Equals advantages equals, Star Streak has a number of advantages over infrared homing guided, radar homing guided, and radio command guidance MCLOS SACLOS missiles. It cannot be jammed by infrared countermeasures or radar radio countermeasures. It cannot be suppressed with anti-radar missiles. Its high speed makes it more likely to be able to intercept a fast-moving aircraft. Three submunitions increased the size of the lethal area, increasing the probability that the target will be hit by at least one submunition. Its high speed reduces the amount of time for effective usage of any potential countermeasure, such as the beam maneuvering or illuminating the guidance laser source with a dazzling battlefield laser. Equals disadvantages equals, the major disadvantage is the submunitions, having no proximity fuse must collide with the target in order to harm it. The guidance laser may be detected after the missile is fired, if the target aircraft is equipped with a suitable passive laser warning system. In contrast, to detect a passively guided infrared homing missile requires MAWS detectors with significant disadvantages, radar-based closure detecting style MAWS radiate an easily detectable signal that reveals the aircraft and may be used as an auxiliary homing signal by AA missiles, and infrared launch signature detector-based MAWS tend to be subject to a high false alarm rate, which reduces attention paid them by the pilot. 
battlefield obscurants, such as smoke, can degrade the ability of the missile operator to see the target, and could potentially interfere with a guidance laser. This is also the case in misty or rainy conditions. The training level of the operator is critical since, unlike infrared-guided missiles, the operator has to track the target exactly with the sighting unit aim point. If the aircraft detects the targeting laser, it has the whole period of the missile flight time to engage in avoidance maneuvers, which adds additional challenge to the missile operator's target tracking task. Operators equals current operators equals United Kingdom SPHVM a Euro approximately 30 systems for a frontline establishment of 24 South Africa LML a Euro 8 LML launcher systems. Stockholm International Peace Research Institute trade registers list the number of portable SAMs delivered as 96 with another order for 82, Thailand, Royal Thai Army a Euro ordered in 2012, Indonesia, Indonesian Army a Euro first order was in November 2011, followed by a second but no deliveries were made and the contract was renegotiated in January 2014 to equip five batteries with Star Street missiles, Control Master 200 radars and weapon coordination systems, lightweight multiple launches on Land Rover defenders and rapid ranger weapon launches on Sherpa vehicles, at a cost of over a 100 million pounds. Malaysia, Malaysian Army, ordered an undisclosed number of LML and vehicle-based variants in July 2015. See also, Fireflash, a missile from the 1950s that used a similar configuration of an unpowered, guided munition that receives initial acceleration from booster rockets, similar missiles include, Stlap, Igala, Stinger, Amza, Blowpipe, Javelin, Mistral and RBS-70. Notes. References. Army Technology, Star Street Close Air Defense Missile. External links, Improved Stark Streak, Star Streak Short Range Surface to Air Missile Man Portable System, Army Recognition, Star Streak High Velocity Missile Euro Armed Forces International, Star Streak. Thales. Archived from the original on November 24, 2006. Star Streak HVM Euro British Army website, Star Streak High Velocity Missile Euro Armor Force.co.uk, Star Streak HVM Euro Global Security, Thor Multi Mission System Euro House